hey my viewers in today's video i'll be showing you how to create logo design with mobile on canva hub this is a canva tutorial for beginners therefore as a businessman or who is just starting businesses and you need some tips on how to make a logo for free don't keep this video away surely this video is for you and try to watch it from the beginning to the end so that you'll be able to get some tips on how to design this very particular logo by yourself without assigning the job to someone else besides you will learn the basic of logo design and how to create a unique stunning and memorable logo that represents your brand or business in furtherance you are going to learn how to quickly and easily design a professional looking logo in canva by following this simple step-by-step -step guide my name is dada elias adebawale as you all know that i usually make use of my phone to navigate with canva this is what we do having your canva app on your phone then you launch it this is it it's loading now this is the interface of the canva if you want to create a logo for your brand or your business by yourself without assigning the job to someone else this is how you go about it you see that you come to this very particular area you scroll this and click on this very particular logo if you don't do it that way you can also search for your logo by scrolling up now you continue scrolling up you can see this is where we're having logos then you click on the seo to have access to all the templates aside from that you can also come to this very particular search box where we are having search your content on canva you click on it then type in logo you can see then you now search for it it is loading here it is these are our logo templates aside from that you can also come to this very particular area where we have a purple circle with plus sign in it then you click on it when you click on it then you scroll up you can see where we are having our logo you click on this very particular logo it is loading this is fantastic these are our logos so those are the ways in which you can search for your logo let me go back to the home page of the canva now this is the canvas home now let me go through this let me click on logo now i've clicked on logo that is to tell you that the first thing you are going to do is to look for the preferred logo templates that you want to work on after you might have clicked on the logo and how do we go about this before we go to the customization of the logo i mean the customization of the template by editing the template you can see what we're having there we're having logos then if you click on this style let me click on it you can see then you can now choose your preferred uh, style do you want it to be modern or minimalist simple aesthetic elegant and so on and so forth if you want to choose modern then i click on modern then you come here by clicking on uh, apply aside from that if you want it to be professional as well you can click on the professional then if you want it to be colorful you click on colorful after then then you now click on the apply it is loading now this is it this is it you can see very colorful and very professional very professional it depends on your choice now you can still come here come to the team then do you want it to be pink or business do you want it to be illustration technology and so on and so forth it depends on your choice but i want it to be out 
Then I click on else. Then I click on apply. Then the feature. Then you continue. Then I click on the topic and choose your topic. Then you click on price. Then you click on free. Because uh, this very particular tutorial is based on free and not on uh, pro. If we are using pro, it means uh, we are going to pay for such a template. But in this case, I'm going to click on uh, free. Then I click on apply. That is that you can see. Then you have all these uh, very particular options which you can uh, click. Or preferably, you can also come to this very particular search and uh, easily let me type in uh, medical care logo you can come to this very particular place and uh, search for what you want to lay your hands on i mean the logo template you want to work on now let me search for it now this is it you can see this is our medical care logo now I want to select the one I want to make use of. You can see there are many. But in this case, I'm going to select this. I'm going to pick this. Now I click on this. Now it is loading. Now this is it. This is our logo. Now this is what we're going to do. To make it unique, you have to make some edit on it by customizing it and uh, make it uh, uniquely ours by changing the fonts, colors, and other elements. Therefore, this is what I'm going to do in this case. Now, firstly, I'm going to click on this very particular logo. I mean the elements. I click on the elements. Now, where we are having this light green, I click on it. This is the color I want. I pick it. Then this very particular dark green. This is what I want. I want it to be black. You can see. I'm done with it. Now the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure that I expand this a little bit. As in uh, widen it. You can see. I click on the medical care. Now I will change this to. I will do it by changing it to ISME Business. ISME Business. Okay. This is ISME Business. Then this clinic, I change it to store. Now let me edit it and change it to store. Aside from that, I need to change this very particular font to the font I want so that it won't look like the original template. I have to make it unique to look like my brand. I mean, my business uh, logo. Now I click on the font. Now I want to change it from the, you can see, this is the font of the logo. Now I change it to, let me search for it and change it to the one I want. Now let me change to this Cardo. I've changed it to Cardo. Okay. Now, let me come to this very particular Ice Me business. Let me change the font as well. The font is a uh, score the one. Now, let me change to this uh, very particular Anton. Let me change it to Anton. Okay, I've changed it to this very particular font. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I want this very particular logo to look like that of my brand. I want it to look quite different from the original template that I make use of. Now, this is what I will do. I will click on this very particular Ice Me business. Now, come to this very particular button where we are having all these uh, tools. Then click on effect. The after I might have clicked on effect, then come to this very particular. Let me see what I can do here. Okay. Let me click on this outline. Now the outline, let me change the outline. Let me change the outline. Okay, then you double click. After I might have double click, then click on this very particular color. 
Then I click on the color. I want this to be there. Now, that is it. Then I click it back. Outline. Then the thickness. I don't want it. You can see. Now I reduce the thickness. I reduce it to 17. Now, another thing I'm going to do here. I click on effect again. Then I click on a shape. Then I click on this very particular curve. After I might have clicked on it, then I will double click. Then I double click it. Then let me see to what I can do. I'm coming. Okay. This is it. Now I click on this. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to make sure that uh, I reduce the size of this very particular right up. Let me reduce it to probably, let me see, 25. Let me see if it will work. No. Let me reduce it to 22, okay? 22. Let me reduce it to 22, okay? Then I fix it here, okay? I'm coming. No, no. Then I fix it here. Then let me pick my store. Then my store. Let me see the font size, the size of the font, the size of store. Now let me reduce it to probably 15. Let me reduce it to 15. Okay. This is it. This is my logo. You can see very fantastic and very interesting. I've changed it from the original one. Looking like my own brand. You can see. You can see the way I've changed it. Therefore, this is all you need to do. When you try to lay your hands on a particular template, when you are trying to design your logo, try as much as possible to make it unique by, you know, customizing, changing the colors, probably the font, the way it appears. Try to change it. You can see the way I've done this. It looks like that of my own brand. This is the one I'm going to do. Now I'm going to lay my hands on another one. As I've said, that this tutorial has to do with a businessman who is planning to start a business and try to create his logo. Canva is a free tool where you can lay your hands on in designing any graphics. Therefore, I'm going to lay my hands on designing another logo. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Now, this is what I will do. I will click. I want to navigate through this a very particular purple circle where we are having plus sign in it. Now, I click on it. Now, it is loading. I click on logo. Now, it is loading. I've clicked on the logo. Now, it depends on your brand. You can search for the category. It depends on the business. I mean the brand of your business. Now, this is what I'm going to do. Now you can see. You can see. I can choose from this very particular category. It depends. But this is what I want to do. Now let me scroll up. Now I want to pick the free one. Okay. Now I click on this very particular one. Now let me click on this. It is loading. This is it. First thing I'm going to do here. I want to change this very particular brown color. This is the background color. I want to change it to probably. Let me change it to black. Now I will need to change this to black as well. The next thing I'm going to do here. I want to change this B to uh, the name of my brown which is Ice Me. A, I've changed it. Then here, I want to fix in S, as in Ice Main Store. Now, this is it. I'm having it here. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I want to change this very particular font. I want to change it to suit my own font. I want to make it unique so that it will be quite different from this very particular original template. Now, I go for fonts now i click on it now uh we're having it on 
Tamman Sherry. Now, this is the one I want to choose. Uh, let me search for it. I want to choose a uh, Tan Twinkle. Tan Twinkle. Tan Twinkle. This is the one I want to choose. Now I click on it. Now I click on it, you can see. Then I change this as to Tan Twinkle as well. Now I'm having it as Tan Twinkle. Now, another thing I want to do, I need to increase this uh, very particular font. I need to increase the font of the logo. I mean the element of the logo. I want to change it to 144. Now, this one, I change it to 144 as well. Now, this is it. Now, another thing I'm going to do, this very particular beauty room, now, I'm going to change this to Ice Me. Then, I copy, I copy, or I duplicate it. Let me duplicate it. Now, I have store here. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do, this ice me, I'm going to fix it here so that I want to make it unique to be quite different from uh, the previous one. I will need to decrease the font to 10 so that it can fit in the element there. Okay. I'm having it here. This is it. Now, this very particular store, I will change it to 10 as well. Okay. And I'll fix it here. Let me fix them here. Okay. Then let me change this uh, ice me here as well. It will to be on center. It will be centralized. Okay. This is it. This is it. You can see. I've made it in such a way that it's quite different from uh, the previous one. This is how to go about creating logo design with mobile on our Canva app. Finally, what I'm going to do is to change this very particular logo. I mean the element of the logo. I'm referring to my font to change the color from this one so that it will look uh, uniquely. Now let me click on this. I click on this. Now let me come to the color. Now let me change it to this. I will change it to yellow. Now likewise, let me change this X to yellow. Then let me come to the ice me. Yeah, let me change it to uh, probably white. Let me change it to white. Then let me click on this store as well. Let me change it to white. That's all. That is how we go about uh, this. This is my logo. And uh, another thing I want to ship in, as regards this uh, already template, if you are trying to design or probably to create a logo, I mean a professional logo, using your Canva app on your mobile phone, you have to be very creative. When you try to study a particular already template logo, try to do some certain thing on it so that it will look uh, very unique. As you can see the way I've done in this uh, very particular way. That is what I need to ship in. If you have found this very particular video useful, I mean, if you have found it very helpful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Likewise, on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video you will be notified. Likewise, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your family and friends. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.